Hi, I'm Tara from Smart Deploy, and this is Smart Tech Tips. Today, we're going to learn even more about AI. Yeah, that's right. The robots are going to take over. I don't think you should fight it. It's, it's going to happen. Let's embrace it. I already nicknamed all of my robots. My favorite one is named Joshua, and he is my robot child. Now, I have four new robot children, and I'm going to show you how they can make your life even easier. Let's dig into it. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so you may or may not know, I call my chat GPT Joshua. Joshua is my robot child. Joshua is uh, from the 80s movie War Games. So I'm old, so he's Joshua. I talk to him in my office all the time. It might be unhealthy, but I don't care. I love him. So these new AI tools, they're Joshua's brothers and sisters. Let me introduce you to them. These are free tools. Uh, they're limited in their little free trial, and uh, I've already bought one of them because I might have a problem, but don't judge me. So let's start uh, with Writer, okay? I'm just going to tell you kind of briefly what they do, and then we're going to dive a little deeper into the one that I actually purchased. So, okay, Writer looks like this. So you have a bunch of different language options, and that's kind of the same across a lot of them. So. There it is. You can pick the tone if you want to be sarcastic, which of course you do. Um, and here's what it'll do. It writes blogs. It can learn your brand. It can help you with brand recognition, brand ideation, business ideas, copywriting, cover letter, email, you name it. Look at this. It can do everything. It does SEO. Um, so just a ton of stuff, right? Um, so here's what you would do. If you say, I'm going to write a blog, you can write in the keywords that are going to be included in your blog. And the more data you put in, the better your output will be, okay? So you're just gonna be very uh, granular in this process. It's AI, so give it information, it will give you a better output. Okay, then down here, if I wanna have three versions of this blog, I would hit three. And then creativity level, I like it high, but I will tell you one thing, um, robots are super creative, so set your expectations low. So over here, you'll see in home, this is how many articles I had it right. Uh, and it did pretty good, it did. I did have to finesse it a few times to get exactly what I wanted. So um, let's just look at one. I thought it did pretty well um, with iOS permissions. So I did, I cleaned it up, I didn't leave it like this, but it, it, it has all the information, but you need to massage it and help it along the way, okay? But once you get it in here, you can highlight it. And then you see it brings us up and I can do various actions. I can say, mm, I don't like what you did, improve that. Um, the paragraph, I can say, write a paragraph based on this one sentence. I want you to expand. Um, I can say, mm, I like what you're doing, expand, keep going, write more, write more. So uh, it's got intuitive learning and it will do better at your prompts, okay? Not necessarily interactive, but it will learn. Okay, so that's writer. I love this one. Um, the next one we're gonna talk about is Quillbot. Now, think of Quillbot as um, like Grammarly, but mo more full featured, okay? So Quillbot has a paraphraser, which I like. If you just wanna say something a little different, you enter your text here and it will paraphrase it for you. Um, it's got a grammar check, so like Grammarly, plagiarism checker, co-writer, so it'll help you. Um, citation, and this one has a browser extension. So I had this running in my browser. I did find it to be a little overly chatty. It kind of annoyed me. I had to silence it yesterday afternoon. I was like, shh, shh quiet. Um, then, okay, next one. So that's Quillbot. Next one is Writerly, also a browser. So let's look at this one. This one has a bunch of templates. So similar to Writer, it'll do website, does the SEO, social media, marketing, oops, I left, um, education. This one's new, so let's drill into this one because that didn't have that. Um, this will create little tests for you, so this one's pretty cool. It'll outline, it'll do um, blog ideas just the same, easy assistant. This one will write full essays, so um, you can see why education is a little bit worried about AI because of all the things it can do, right? It'll write little descriptions for social media and they all kind of will do the same thing. Ooh, let's see what the unique selling points are. Yeah, let's do. Oh, no, no, let's not. That's a video. Grammarly Business is an AI-powered writing assistant, enabling- We want to see your video. 
No. Okay. Back we go. Okay. Are you ready for my favorite? This one's my favorite. And this is the one that I bought because I think it has the best features. It's the easiest to use and it did the best job with what I wanted it for. Okay. This one's WordCraft. So WordCraft, we're going to start in the tools area. So I can write articles. I can write blogs. It will build out a blog outline first. You just tell it, hey, I want to write a blog on this. It breaks out the outline. It even tells you, okay, here's your heading. Here's your intro. Here's the body. Here's your intention. I loved it. It made it so easy. Okay, so that's the blog. Down here we go. Oh, conclusion, that was the other thing. Um, it'll rewrite a sentence for you, of course. It has all this stuff it'll do in the website. Of course, the social media stuff we already talked about. I had it write my LinkedIn post this week and my Twitter post, so that was handy. Marketing, it'll write all your emails. Okay, let's go into templates now, okay? I love the templates. It can write pretty much every letter you ever can want. It'll sell your house for you. Resume, I'm never writing a resume ever again or a cover letter, I'm sure not. No more emails. In fact, I don't plan to use my brain ever again. My robot children will do all my work for me. Okay, so. I'm gonna show you the content that it did. So if I come back into my content, it's gonna save everything. So uh, make sense of app permissions, what you should allow and refuse. It came up with that title. So all I did is I said, I wanted to tell me about iOS permissions. What should I approve and what should I deny? So you see how it groups it into these little intros, sections, pardon me. And then if you hover over it, you can say, hmm, do I like it or not? And then over here, I can say, no, do it again. I don't, I don't really like it. Or you can say, I, I want more. So I'm gonna say, write more. A and it will. And depending on what you're asking it to, it can be fast or slow. So pretty amazing, right? Um, you can highlight just certain things and then take action on those certain things. Over here, you see, I can reorder it if I wanna push it up or down um, and then, if I'm happy with a document, I can copy it, export it elsewhere. So one cool thing that I did that I like the best is I used WordCraft in conjunction with Joshua. Remember Joshua's chat GPT. And I, I asked Joshua, could you edit this blog I'm working on? He said, sure, post it in here, mom. I love you, mom. And I posted it in there and then he cleaned it up and made it even better. So for me, that was the best use is I had the AIs fight in like a little robot battle and it was perfect. Okay, that's all for today. And I know there's a lot of controversy about AI right now and people are freaking out. Are my kids cheating on the test? Is this person really doing their job or is AI doing it for you? And, and I think I have a little different take on this because I don't think they're actually gonna replace us. Uh, I see this as a means to help you in your job. You still have to know what you're doing. Um, Joshua and co are just gonna help you do it a little better, a little faster. And if you are responsible with these tools, it's a learning tool. That's how I've been using it. And that's really how I view it. To me, it's fun. It's exciting. And I wish I'd had this 15 years ago. So I hope you use it in the way that I'm using it and enjoy it and continue to learn. I'm Tara with Smart Deploy. I'll see you next time.